And because of a surge in coronavirus cases, Aurora Public Schools keeping some children at home. The district just told us that it is delaying in-person learning for high school students. They won't get back into class until November 13th. Well, some parents and students in the Cherry Creek School District are frustrated with the district's hybrid model. They say kids are falling behind. Our investigator Katie Weiss at Cherry Creek High this evening. Katie, you got answers straight from the superintendent. Jim, some parents feel the school district didn't give teachers enough time to prepare for the hybrid learning model this summer. However, the superintendent says teachers had five extra planning days and have been given support tools all along. But some parents say that hasn't been enough, especially since the superintendent says the hybrid model isn't going away anytime soon. Chandra Proach says her two Smoky Hill high schoolers are struggling. I see both kids have to not only teach themselves the subject, but then do all the work by themselves. Her kids are in school two days a week and at home the other three days. Teachers are supposed to be there on Mondays um, remotely, and we are seeing them not there to answer questions. You know, if you were in like a social studies class, they're focusing on like the bigger events that happen, but then maybe some of the people that were involved in those events, like they don't really talk about and then it's on a test and you're like, well, I didn't learn this. Andrea Daly agrees. Her son is a sixth grader at Falcon Creek Middle School. Sometimes work's not being posted in time. Um, the work that is being posted gets done way too fast and he's barely on front of the computer for maybe hour and a half, two hours and then the rest of the day, no education. Superintendent Scott Siegfried acknowledges teachers aren't able to get through all of the curriculum during the pandemic. There's no question that when you're only with kids in person twice a week in a hybrid schedule, we're not going to teach 100%. He says the district is helping teachers with lesson plans and making plans for the future. We're going to put the plans in place to make sure we address it. Those will be gaps they'll take with them the rest of their life if we don't fix it. Approaches kids hope that's true. I feel like they need to be more unified in thinking, not each teacher, oh, I think it should be done this way. And the superintendent says the district is having to work on a budget that was slashed this year by $25 million. In the meantime, there is a measure on the ballot this election that's asking for more financial help for the district. The superintendent says that measure is crucial to ensuring that more teachers stay on the payroll. Reporting live in Greenwood Village, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First.